one of the most exciting things is when you get new assets for your stream and so one of those assets is a custom cam border um, so to add that custom cam border into OBS is actually pretty easy but a lot of people don't do it the most efficient way let me show you what I mean so here we are in OBS and we're on our gameplay scene now you need to add your cam border and your cam source to this so what you would normally do or think is on the gameplay scene go ahead under sources you're going to add your cam border image bro so where your cam border is hit okay and here we have the cam border image right good so now we need a camera source so we go again under sources hit the plus icon and we go um, for video capture device now you select your webcam here I don't have a live webcam on right now so I'm just using the OBS virtual camera you hit OK drag your cam below your border and then you try to like size it up to fit the border right somewhere there right so this is what you know you you think and then to position this is where the, the issues come in because now when I need to move it to say over here I need to try to move both so I'd go ahead and select both of them and move them this way but if I try to resize you see now we have another problem so this isn't the most efficient way to do this let me show you a better way so deleting the cam border and deleting the cam source if you look over here under scene sources I actually have a webcam source um, made specifically to host the cam border and the cam source so this is a normal image source and we added the cam border in the same way we did a while ago so now when I add the video capture device and again I'm just using the OBS virtual camera drag that below our cam border now we can go ahead and size it up correctly and then when I go back to my gameplay all I need to do is to add my webcam source my webcam scene sorry as a source here so I go to the plus icon select scene and then scroll down to webcam hit OK and there we go now I can resize my cam and position it wherever I want and see there are no issues the border comes along with it and so this is the most efficient way to add your webcam to your gameplay also if I go back into my webcam scene I can change this border and once I change it in here for instance let's just remove it when I go back to gameplay the change will be made here as well so it's it's really really neat and that is how um, you should be adding your elements to your gameplay but what if you have now a cam border that is not square like this so you know what do you do at that point so let's create one so let's create a scene called webcam 2 and in this scene we are going to add a cam border that has curved edges so here we have our border and it has rounded corners so you know fit that to the screen so here rounded corners if I try to add now my video capture device and again selecting the virtual camera you'll see it is very hard <laughs> well actually impossible to add it perfectly to the rounded edges of this cam border so in this case you have to use a mask um, the mask will allow you to now clip 
the edges of your cam source to fit the cam border. So the first thing I would do for this cam border here is to go ahead and fit it to my screen. And of course, if you are getting a cam border such as this with rounded corners, you should also get the mask image to add as a filter. So right click your cam source, go to filters, under effect filters, hit the plus icon, and then go to image mask blend. From here, go ahead and select browse for the path and go to wherever you have your mask saved. In this package that I have, it's right here, cam mask one. Hit open and then close. So now it has been clipped to the border. And if I go back to my gameplay scene and let's add our webcam two, which is this. Now you can see I now have a cam with rounded corners. So this is the way you add cam to your gameplay scene. Pretty efficient, you can move them anywhere you want and resize them to whatever size you want. Right on the fly, no issues. You won't have to be worried about, you know, you're streaming live and your cam is over something and you need to move it but then the border is stuck somewhere. You won't have any of those issues if you do it like this. If you want to get this stream package, you can go ahead and visit my digital store at imaginedigitalstore.com where you will see this Rengoku package along with other themed stream packages for purchase. Go ahead and get whichever one you'd like and have fun. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a good day.